Ms. Dew, community relations, marketing update? Yes, I'm going to um, give our current report on the um, business plan that we have for 2015 to show the activity and um, projects that we are working on, although project, specific project activity will be reported by Stan and Andrea. But just so you can see it visually, the numbers that we have been working um, from year to date and the difference from one month to the other. So again, um, there's one new project from June, from July to August, and so you can see the um, existing industry projects, expansion, retention projects we're working, and then also new projects as well as the um, stage that each of the projects are currently in that we are working in the funnel. Um, and then year to date, year to date, the source of our projects, again, the majority of those we are working to our existing industry, um, and so they are coming directly you know, as we contact them and, and work with them um, through our visits, but also um, through prospects, um, which a lot of those are coming in through our location and just phone call inquiries um, from the year. So new, um, new projects, our target for the year is 15, we've surpassed that, and we're currently at 21 projects that are being worked um, year to date. So these are new projects, these are announced projects, it's the full, the polls, all the, the entire number for the year. Um, and then client visits and projects that are uh, step foot into our community, um, we have seven, we have currently are at seven. Expansion announcements, this number has not changed from last month, but it's currently at seven, and you can see the list of expansions and announcements we've had here to date. That list will stay up there. Um, the capital investment obviously did, did not change as well because we have an, uh, did not have an announcement expansion in July. Um, so that investment is the same and on trend. Um, and new jobs is, remains at 159 from the projects we have worked. Um, existing industry visits, um, Stan will, will report on that, but there are two that we that have been input, inputted. Um, there may be more. And then also brat referrals, um, our interactions with our existing industries and business retention team identifying opportunities for us to assist. And um, that's a good activity um, for us to identify so that we can you know, record those and, and track that. Um, there was not most significant changes in the consultant outreach. We had some time to spend on you know, reaching out to some consultants and Andrea had some events that she attended in July where she um, had direct you know, contact and face-to-face -face conversations with consultants and so those are being um, recorded for the year. And then also the industry conference and trade shows, current numbers at five. Um, our the Boston Daily Times business spotlight um, article last month was on uh, kind of like a semi-annual report. So our um, activity for the past six months, um, Stuart and sat down with us and we, we discussed um, those expansions and projects, but also just the activity that we're seeing um, on a, you know, working for uh, 2015 and those goals and targets that we've put into place through our business plan. Um, we also had a press release with the um, World Trade Center Savannah that um, was published in the first week of August, and so that press release was also um, in the Valdosta Daily Times and Valdosta CEO. Um, we also had an email campaign blast that went out August 11th. Um, this email um, temp email blast um, went to, out to 376 emails which included site location advisors, real estate brokers, elected, local elected officials, and local board members and leaders. Um, we had an open rate of 42%, which is high, um, a, a good, great number, um, and then also a click rate, which was also above average um, of them you know, clicking over to the website, clicking over to read the press release with the announcements that we've had for the past six months with a 28 million investment and 159 new jobs. Also featured um, our Westside Business Park, which um, linked over to the Valdosta Downs Prospector website for them to check out all the sites and build it, buildings that are available in Valdosta and Lowndes County. And then also provided a community overview um, with data and demographics in our largest employers. Um, so that was a 
a nice um, design for us to send out, um, especially just with the activity that we have seen so that they know what's going on in our community. Um, we also had an opportunity to, um, Wiregrass Georgia had an opportunity to host the um, Technical School System Executive Board. Um, and so their um, delegation was in town for two days and we coordinated a tour of STEDA, which STEDA is always happy to host us um, multiple times in one week, actually. And so I have a couple pictures from their visit. They were a great um, audience. People are always just so um, focused and like concentrate, like they take in all Dario has to say. It's, it's a great team, Dario, the owner, and Scott, the production manager. Dario talks about, um, obviously his, his, his pride and joy is the product. and. And Scott talks about performance more and the engineer and design of it all. So it's a good combination of the ten, two of them working together on the tour, and they were both there. Um, and they got members um, also got to ride um, in the Steeda machine, machine M Mustang, Steeda Mustang. Um, and we coordinated to have the employees at Steeda wear a Made in Valdosta shirt on the day of the tour, so they were all um, supporting, um, obviously the Steeda parts that are made in Bonasta and go out you know, globally. Um, also in this picture you'll see Amy Carter, but Gretchen Corbin, our friend Gretchen Corbin with, is now the commissioner of um, the technical school system of Georgia, so she was in attendance as well. Um, as I, I sent an email out a couple um, last week. We um, have distributed um, many t-shirts to friends and supporters of the development authority, to lo local existing industries, and um, I've had a great response and very positive feedback. They all are excited to have them and to wear them and have their family support um, our community. And so in order for us to supply and continue to, you know, continue to promote our community, um, we will um, tomorrow start selling the t-shirt in order for us to reorder. So just really just to re refuel the pot to reorder and support the campaign. Um, not any revenue uh, source at all. Um, and that concludes my report. We will be working, um, have a meeting tomorrow with Jay Prince of Prince Automotive who has made a significant investment in his facility um, for our August article and Stuart and I will meet with Jay uh, tomorrow. But obviously that's a great tax <coughs> revenue for our community and, and Jay's also a great stakeholder and supporter of economic development activities. So. Excited. Thank you, Megan. Very accurate information there. Still enjoying the Salesforce. Thanks I love it. <laughs> it's, really, it's been very helpful for yeah. us. It's been great for um, contact management, but also for data measurement tools. Um, he's out of the office. I can look it up. I mean, it's been a good um, source of information and a great pro uh, tool for our team to utilize through the project management and sustainability. Thank you.